South Korea's political parties reacted immediately to the unexpected breakdown in talks at the Hanoi summit. While the ruling party remains optimistic, the main opposition party expressed deep regret and disappointment. Kim mo brings us the contrasting responses. Following the unceremonious end to the Kim Trump summit, South Korea's rival parties immediately released their own statements expressing different views. The ruling party says it was unfortunate that negotiations did not end to a fruitful outcome, but added that there still is room for progress in the near future. The party spokesperson said that with President Trump confirming that Kim Jong-un promised not to test more missiles and develop its nuclear weapons program, it is expecting follow-up discussions to take place soon. Meanwhile, the main opposition Liberty Korea Party expressed regret, adding that they expected the summit to bring realistic progress and the establishment of peace on the Korean peninsula. Despite the breakdown in negotiations, it expressed hopes that follow-up talks on denuclearization can be held swiftly. The centrist Padin Mide Party said that it was a partial relief that President Donald Trump gave positive remarks on the future relations between Pyongyang and Washington. It said the two sides are going through a growing pain of sorts and pledged to cooperate in bipartisan efforts so that more talks could be held as soon as possible. As for the minor opposition parties, though they seem a little disappointed, lawmakers still remained hopeful. The Party for Democracy and Peace and the Justice Party said that now is the time for the Moon Jae-in administration to gear up and take the initiative in fostering more dialogue between North Korea and the U.S. They stress that South Korea's role has become even more important in these circumstances, adding that President Moon should act as a mediator between North Korea and the U.S. to maintain trust. Kim Mo-gyeon, Arirang News.